sorry. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Melody Page. I represent Florida Medical Rights Association. First, I'd like to say that I'm, I'm truly astonished that this hearing took place without a speaker on the agenda to discuss how recommendations here today affect citizens and victims of this state. Everyone on this panel represents insurance regulators, big corporations, and those hired to protect them. That said, I'm here to actually bring your attention to a certain tort reform that has devastated families from seeking justice that their loved ones deserve. You call it Florida's Wrongful Death Act. We the people call it Florida's Free Kill Law. I think we can all agree here that human life is equally valuable, regardless of color, race, or age. According to Florida Statute 768.21, Section 8, however, that is not the case. If an adult patient is unmarried and has no children under the age of 25, they can be killed by medical negligence with zero accountability, zero. Their families are not even allowed to grace the steps of the courthouse. If you fall into this category of people, as do at least 15 million of Floridians today, and God forbid, of course, a medical error, like a surgeon nicks an artery and you bleed to death, which is a true story that came to me actually, um, or this is my dad, his wife, my mother, died three days before he was sedated to death in a hospital by a nurse on an accidental overdose. The only reason that I was not allowed to go to court is because when he died, I was 45 years old. It's a little bit of ageism, is it? Florida Medical Rights Association is seeking your support to repeal this law. Point blank, it's just wrong. It's an embarrassment to our state, and I want to tell you too that Florida is the only state with this law, the only one. We realize that many actions have been taken to keep this law in place, that the cost of malpractice insurance being a, a point that actually the Supreme Court leaned on, uh, of the Supreme Court of Florida, without any sufficient data, uh, but malpractice insurance has risen equally across the country and Floridians wrongly stand alone in allowing hospitals to legally kill patients in this class. Big corporations and insurance companies, some sitting in this room, look to make it harder for, fa for patients' families to sue. This is their jobs, to make arbitrary and unreasonable caps and to make the cost of a potential suit economically unfeasible for the people and lobby to keep Florida free kill in place. To you, I say Floridians are losing their lives Nobody is asking for unreasonable malpractice judgments. We are only asking for the ability to bring cases with blatant medical errors that cause the death of our loved ones to court and have the right to a fair jury trial reinstated as it's stated in the Florida Constitution and the United States Constitution. I'm almost done, I promise. FMRA is made up of a group of individuals, including myself, who've been personally affected. Our numbers are growing. We have more than 50,000 signatures so far and um, what we want is we want this statute, Florida statute 768.21, section eight repealed. The packet that has been passed around to each of you has the statute um, on the first page in bold. It, it states that it precludes ch adult children and parents in the case of specifically medical error. Another quick case that's on the table right now is a 25 year old young man, nurse took out a, a pick line wrong. He was ready to go home, perfectly healthy. Um, because she took the pick line out, he seized and died. This happened uh, in, in my home area in West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, he's 25 years old, not yet married, no kids. Mom can do nothing. She watched him seize and die, by the way. Um, the Florida Supreme Court has failed to find this law unconstitutional, plain as day it is. Um, and um, our contact information is listed on the bottom. The number on there is mine. If you're interested in supporting this bill for a repeal, we would appreciate hearing from you. Um, we've, we've gained support from some legislators already. I'm saddened that there are some that want to keep this law in place and, and don't seem to care about the potential detriment of literally millions of Floridians, which they call constituents. And I ask you to remember that you are elected to this position to protect the people of the state. I'm taking my action, that's why I'm here today, and, and will continue to, to do so at any opportunity that, that I can find. 
Uh, I'm just hoping that there will be a time when you will stop and recognize the injustice that this law <coughs> poses on Florida families and repeal it. Thank you, Ms. Page. Uh, we're sorry to hear about your loss, and we do appreciate you taking your time to travel all the way over to Tallahassee.